Hello everyone. Today in this session, we will be introducing you to Convert to Rel Interactive Lab. This interactive lab will help you get a hands-on experience and understand the steps involved in Convert to Rel process. It's divided into five sections: prerequisites, downloading Convert to Rel, performing pre-conversion analysis and fixing the issues, performing conversion, rebooting and verifying the system after conversion. In order to access this lab, visit www.redhat.com click on all red hat then select the option interactive lab from the drop down box on this page under section red hat enterprise linux lab click see all and search for migrate to red hat enterprise linux from centos linux click on it and that will take you to the lab page click on launch to start the lab needs around 3 to 4 minutes to be prepared we will skip the video to the time this is ready now that the lab is ready let's click start the screen is divided into two parts on the left side of the screen you have a terminal with the centos linux 7 system for performing conversion process while on the right side You have a sidebar which walks you through the steps needed for the conversion process. We see at the top there is a progress bar which shows you the number of section the lab is divided into and shows you the time limit the lab will be active. We need to finish the lab in this time or else our progress will be lost and we will need to start over. On the right section we see that there is a explanation of the commands and its expected output to help you validate that you are on the right track. You can directly type the command on the terminal session by yourself. or simply click the run button which runs the command for you in the first section it guides you through downloading the gpg keys the ssl certificates and repository required to access the convert to rel tool next we also need to change the centos linux repository url to point them to vault.centos.org now that centos linux 7 is end of life let's click on next to move to the next section this section helps you install the convert to rel tool now let's go to next section In this step we will be using convert to rel analyze command to see if there are any inhibitors to the conversion process we will skip the video to the time the command completes it found that there is a older kernel version currently running on centos linux system while a new one is available in the centos linux repositories the convert to rel requires you to boot the system with the latest updates from your repositories this is one of the prerequisites and is noted in the documentation for convert to rel It requires us to install the latest updates and reboot with the new kernel. Note that on reboot, your connection to the terminal will be closed. You can simply click on the refresh button here to connect again after it's booted. Post reboot, we can verify that we booted the new kernel. Let's proceed to the next section. This section lets us run the actual convert to rel process. This will go through replacing the CentOS Linux packages with RHEL packages. We will skip to the end of the process to see if it's completed. We see that it has completed without any errors. We will head to the next section where we will reboot and validate the conversion process. Let's reboot the machine to see if it boots into RHEL. Let's give it a few seconds before we refresh the screen to let it complete the reboot. The system is booted and up now and we see that it has booted into RHEL 7.9. This lab is in a controlled environment so you may face other issues while performing it on an actual system. We suggest that you take backup of the original system before conversion process and attempt it on a test system first. Also review the convert to rel documentation as it has more extensive information about this process. That was it for this lab. Hope this information is helpful. 
Please also check our other videos which explain the usage for various other customer lab applications. Thank you for watching.